So I struggled for a bit to get multiple buttons to appear on one side of the navigation bar. And actually, after I began planning this tutorial, I found an even easier solution than what I'd used before, so I'm going to share that with you. First, we're starting off with a single view template in Xcode I've called Navbar Buttons. I'm going to use the new tools in Xcode 4.2 to add a navigation controller. Editor, and then I can select Embed In, and navigation controller. That'll give me a navigation controller and show my the scene I was using as the root view controller. One nice thing about using storyboards is that I can add a button visually to the navigation control. I'm going to go to the library and choose a bar button item and add that to my navigation controller. Now I can also do that on the right side as well, but when I try and add a second button, it won't let me. It just won't snap into place. So I'm going to delete my right side button, and I'm going to add those right side buttons programmatically. For the left side button, I'm going to start off by uh, changing the title to left, so I easily know what it is. Make sure I'm using the attributes inspector to set that title and I'm using the style that is bordered. Now I'm going to add some methods to the view controller uh, class so I can see so I can make that the button actions actually work. So for my left button action I'm going to add a IB action called left button action and then for the two other buttons I'm going to add an add button and a cool button so I'll, my actions will be a my add action and a my cool action. After declaring them in the H file, then I'll switch over to my implementation.m file and uh, go ahead and create those methods. My left action open close parentheses and I'm just going to add a NS log statement um, saying that it will display that I actually added those that the button was actually clicked. And I'll do the same thing for my uh, add action open parentheses close parentheses and for my cool action and then I'm just going to copy this NS log statement from the left button action and paste it into my other two actions and then change the uh, first word in there so I can see which button was actually which action was actually fired. Oops, I already added those actions there, so I'm gonna delete them as I was practicing for the tutorial. Okay, now I want to make sure that the scene for the that the storyboarder is using is actually the class that I write in my my methods in. So I select the view controller switch over to the identity inspector and make sure that the selected class is that view controller class which matches the name of the class over on the left hand side there now the easy part is connecting up my left button to the actions I just declared so I can select the left button go over to my connections inspector and with the selector action control drag that to my view controller and select my left action so that left button's already wired up and good to go. I can't do the same for my right buttons because I actually haven't added them to the visual interface over here in the storyboard. I'm going to add them prog programmatically. I'm going to do that by using the view did load method. Here in the view did load method, I'm going to first add a declare a reference, a pointer to my add button, the add button I'm going to use, and use that as a UI bar button item, and then initialize with bar button system item, and then I can select from among the system buttons that are already available to me. I'm going to use the add system button, which will give me a nice add uh, symbol, plus symbol in the button. The target is self, and the selector I'm going to put as the method that I want to fire when that button's clicked. 
In this case, it's just my add action. So that gives me a pointer to the add for the add button. Now I need to declare another pointer for the other button I'm going to add on the right hand side, which I'm calling my cool button. So my cool button, um, it'll be a bar button item, alloc. And this time, instead of using the system buttons, I'm going to use my own custom button. Um, so I'm going to init with title. And the text I want to display in the button this time will be cool. For the style, I'm going to use uh, the done button style, which will give a nice blue tint inside the button. Again, the target is cell. And there's a, oops, I need to, uh, I don't know how I got in that. I need to delete all the space I just had accidentally added there. And then, sorry, for the action, I'm going to, again, declare the method I want to fire when that button is clicked. This time, it'll be my cool action. So now I have two buttons pointer declare, button point, pointers declared. And what I'm going to do is add those two buttons to an array called my buttons array. And I'll do NS array and then alloc, oops, I'm going to need two square brackets there. Um, alloc, and then I can init with objects and initialize my array with objects I've already created. In this case, the objects I've already created are the two button uh, pointers I already have declared. So my cool button and my add button. And if you play around with it, you'll notice that the actual order that you add these in will make a difference in what displays in the navigation bar. So I have the two buttons. I put them in an array. And the last thing I need to do then is add those two buttons uh, to the navigation bar. I can do self navigation item and then the right bar button item. And notice I got bar, bar button item and items. Item if I just want one button up there. Items, and I'll show you again, the items actually expects an NS array. So I can pass an array of items into there and because I, that's why I created the array in the, the line above this. So I'll add my button array to the right bar button items. And then I can run this app. And you'll be able to see that on the left hand side, run. <laughs> when I run it, on the left hand side, I've got my left button. And the right hand side, I've got my system plus add button plus my custom cool button. And when I click on each one of them, let me pull this up here. As I click on the button, you can see that those methods are firing with the NS log statement showing up in the console. So that's an easy way to add multiple buttons to a navigation bar.